Okay, really fast before we move on to the next section uh, and actually show you how to use all these great brushes, I've actually switched back to the basic uh, nine brush and I'm going to show you a really quick exercise that I learned from uh, an old, old art teacher. Nobody teaches this anymore, but it comes in really handy with the Wacom. It's basically using your wrist because if you use your hands, your fingers turn, you get this lumpy, you know, chunky kind of looking curves. But if you use your wrists, this is a fantastic exercise to get used to it. And the goal, like if I actually go slow, you'll see it, is to actually make it as thin as possible. So if you're doing like this, well actually, I guess I should actually be pressing that. If you're doing like this, work on it. But if you can get it nice and smooth, beautiful thin lines, and that's actually whenever we're drawing, a lot of times it's really quick, solid lines like that. And that's how we do it, is we're using our entire hand I use a glove so my hand slides nicely across the glass. Also the oils from my skin don't get all over it. And this actually makes it very smooth, very quick, very easy, and it's much, much like using a uh, regular pen and pencil on paper. So anyways, once again, just doing these quick exercises and then doing this. Now the other cool thing about the Wacom tablet that we can do, and we'll make a new layer here really fast, is when you're doing these, you can actually turn your tablet. And this is one of the, the blessings of why I use the Wacom tablet so much. As I can sit here and so we'll actually draw. This is a character from a comic book I work on called Kinder Goth. So we can actually sit here. And you can actually see how I can turn the tablet to get my lines and stuff in very quickly. And uh, I think Colin actually wants to do a uh, comic book DVD later, so possibly be on the lookout for that. <laughs> and I'll show you how to draw comic books using your Wacom Cintiq in Photoshop. And it's just, like I said, really quick and dirty. We're not really going for accuracy on this one. It's just kind of for instructional purposes only. Noticed it just saved because I hit the ta the hit the uh, touchpad over here on the right. It's actually a once again godsend because so many times artists will get stuck up uh, stuck in their work, and they're just so focused on what they're doing that they forget to save their files. Then it crashes and then they cry. And the cool thing, like I said, if you get these settings just right for yourself, you can sit here and just keep whipping lines out, undo them, erase them, clean them up make them look as good as you want them. So I have a multitude of styles that I use and you'll see several of them today. This is the cartoony style that I use for Kindergath. It is, believe it or not, my least favorite style to use. Uh, I generally work very realistic and I really like doing, uh, you know, just I love realistic work and sometimes I like making it a little, you know, with digital it's really easy. Uh, I like to dirty it up a bit and just kind of do quick and dirty sketches and stuff, which is, once again, the combo of Photoshop and a Cintiq tablet. Or if you're one of those painter guys, which uh, Painter is also a cool program, but uh, it's also a fantastic software to just go in there and do your quick and dirty sketches. Let's go back here again. Your body. You can come back to your layers, hide that, and there's your basic really quick sketch. So, there you go.